Hello dreamers, this is Maya Joy Kana, and today's video is going to be on life path number three. Welcome all of you beautiful threes. This video is really close to my heart because I am not a life path number three, but I am a birthday number three. So I'm a sort of a carrier of this three vibration and what most people are seeing when they watch my videos is my three coming out. <laughs> so what is a life path number three and what is this all about? Our life path number threes are here to bring creativity and visual beauty into the world and they're here to be recognized for their creative gifts. Now, when we're thinking about a life path number three, it's important to think of creativity very broadly. So life path number threes often do end up in very um, creative fields, like explicitly creative, such as being a musician or being an actor or actress, being a fashion designer or being somebody who owns an Etsy shop or somebody who is some sort of baker or is actually creating, you know, something beautiful, not just a regular baker, but somebody who makes like the cupcakes that are not only delicious, but are also extremely gorgeous, like things like that, or an interior designer or stuff like that. It could be a life path number three has a really super creative way of being a teacher. Maybe they're teaching the same curriculum as everybody else, but they're doing it in a different way. They're bringing a unique element to it. That could be said for any other field as well. So if you're a life path number three, it doesn't mean that you have to be a painter or an illustrator. Although if you've always had the dream of doing something like that, this is your lifetime to do it. And you are fully permitted to work in an explicitly artistic or creative field. So if you're a life path three and you've always had, you know, you've always had that sort of wish in your heart that you never told anybody that you wanted to be, a musician and that you know how to play the guitar and you always wanted to just produce sort of acoustic music and you never thought you could succeed so you decided to be an engineer. Well, if you're a life path number three, you actually are intended to succeed in that musical field or that artistic field that you loved when you were a kid. But if you really don't have a love like that, maybe you don't want to be on YouTube or you don't want to do whatever, but like then what you do want to do is you want to bring innovation and creativity and uniqueness and beauty into whatever field that you are in and that is really important to keep yourself balanced think about how can i do what i'm doing but do it in a more creative way you know even if you're a young person who's a life path number three maybe you work at a starbucks or something like that maybe you have a new idea for a new latte or you have a new idea of a way you want to arrange the displays when you come in or something like that bring those ideas bring those little ideas those little insights those little um creative those bursts of creativity or creative insight bring those to the work that you are doing because if you don't you're going to be bored and you're going to get tired and you're just not going to feel engaged with life life path number threes need to have a sort of creative way of living again maybe you're not a painter i hope you are though <laughs> oh but like or an actor actress okay maybe you're not a ballet dancer or one of these three sort of professions but Maybe you just feel really, really tired and depressed within the nine to five sort of structure. That would be normal for a life path number three because life path number threes are not meant to live within that nine to five framework. Life path number threes need to live creatively. They need to have some flexibility you know for a life path number three it's going to be better to have a job where you can work your own hours or you're self-employed actually for life path number threes one of the great things to do is to actually be in some sort of sales like to be an independent consultant in some sort of sales profession that could be a good match that would actually give you your own sort of hours or you know to have an employer who understands that you need a little bit more variety or you need that sort of special job within your office the one that requires creative thinking the one that's a little bit different the one where you can sort of think for yourself or the one where you get to like work from home sometimes or you get to like maybe 
travel around your community, run little errands, like stuff like that, form relationships with others. Life path number threes are, they're just natural. Even if you don't think this about yourself, like the life path number threes are good at just talking to people and just making people feel at ease and, and saying things that are interesting as well, like creating interesting conversations, um, just bringing beauty into the world. So I want to talk more about this concept of beauty because life path number threes are here to bring in like fun and to bring in social energy and to make the world more beautiful and that's why a lot of them do end up in creative fields you know why maybe they become the graphic designer or they become the model or the actress because those are ways to make life more beautiful but you can channel that energy however you want to you know and it could be something as simple as just redesigning like the way that your house is laid up out. Not to say that that's totally simple, but you know, it's a way that you can express this creative energy and fulfill your destiny. Maybe you're a life path number three and you're a mom. And you know, one thing that you could do to make being a mom more fun is you can go and you can look at like the little breakfast designs using like the Eggo waffles to make a little breakfast for your kid that looks like a reindeer or whatever. I don't know what the options are, but you get what I mean, right? like to bring this element of beauty and creativity into life. Another thing for life path number threes is to have a creative sense of self-expression in the way that you present yourself. If you're a healthy sort of three that is um, in vibrational alignment, you might find that you just really want to present yourself in a way that's beautiful, whether that comes through sort of unique jewelry or a unique sense of fashion or the clothing that you wear or things like that, that that's important. Like to feel like you're beautiful is part of why you're here. And that's part of your destiny in this lifetime is to feel like to wear your best clothes, to wear what you want, to feel like you're beautiful, to get the haircut that you want, um, to treat yourself a little bit and three is about these social interactions like it's about enjoying your interactions with other people finding those friends that you really like going on little outings together sitting down chatting having coffee going to the theater like being involved in your community and doing those fun things that make life a little bit more artistic that make life a little bit more creative that make life a little bit more beautiful a little bit more enjoyable that is three, you know, it's letting loose a little bit. It's not four, <laughs> you know? Four is like, okay, work hard, build security. And three is like, life is about more than that. Like life is meant to be enjoyed. Life path number threes need to be able to laugh. It doesn't suit a three to be overly serious or to be pushed in an overly serious environment. Like threes, even if a three is introverted, they're gonna do better in like a work environment or amongst friends who are pretty chatty, who are pretty social, who tell jokes. Life path three needs comedy. If you're a life path three and you're feeling really not good, then you know, maybe like watch some funny YouTube videos or go to the comedy club. You need to laugh. Like you need to laugh and be gregarious and be bubbly and that's your supposed to be your natural sort of demeanor. I just feel like the world is not really I mean, right now is kind of a real serious time and there's a lot of fear and none of that is good. For life path number three, we need to be lighthearted and to be able to laugh at things and to have a good time and to have fun. Now, life path number threes are meant to be seen. They're not meant to hide away. They're meant to have some sort of stage or be on some sort of stage. Maybe that's literally because maybe they're literally a dancer for a living or maybe they're just a teacher who's amazing that other people just sort of peek in on and say, whoa, like that is the best teacher I've ever seen. But they're meant to be seen by others. So you want to put yourself you know, out in front of other people in order to feel good. You want to do something that you're proud of and be recognized for that. Because otherwise, if this three energy doesn't really have somewhere to be channeled, like through creativity and through being like a little star, uh, then it can turn into the three being a drama maker or a drama queen or feeding up drama or watching all of the like fearful news and going crazy on that. Like, no. You don't want to do that. Um, the threes are not meant to be spreading drama, spreading rumors and stuff, but that can happen with the three because there's just that want for just that energy, that movement, like that sense of engagement and that 
can end up being dramatic. So if you're a three and you're finding yourself like you don't even know why you're doing it, but you're telling everybody secrets and you're just you know spreading drama for your own entertainment, try to like channel that. Try to figure out what it is that you really want. You know, maybe you need to uh, actually engage some sort of creative interest or something that you've set aside, but you need to channel that energy into something that that expands beauty, like that expands beauty in this world that makes people laugh. Um, you need to be seen and recognized not because you have the latest secrets, but because of the beauty that you have within yourself and the great ideas that you have and you need to be entertaining other people, um, but not in a, not using unsultry means. Like path number three is because they're so talented and because they're so beautiful, can sometimes draw in a partner who's just uh, attracted to them for those reasons, because of their talents or because of their, their beauty, and then they can actually end up getting taken advantage of. So if you're a life path number Number three, make sure that your very close relationships are very balanced, that there's an equal amount of giving and receiving uh, from each of you, and then maybe even if you feel so compelled, maybe even study you know, personal relationships or do a little bit of work around that just to learn about what healthy relationships actually are. because. Life path number three can tend to be very well liked by everyone around them and to just draw in, you know, a lot of like fans, but can have a little bit more of a difficulty um, having a really healthy, in depth relationship with someone else. So it's worth sort of learning and studying um, relationships to have that sort of fulfillment that you really need because. A life path number three really needs to have a partner or a best friend or somebody who really looks up to them and who sees them for being the amazingly beautiful, creative, talented um, person that they actually are. So seek out those very healthy relationships with people that honor you, not because of who you know or what you do, but people that honor you because of who you are and because they see that amazing light within you. And you also want to make sure that you surround yourself with people who are encouraging you to do what you want and to follow your heart and to pursue your dreams and to pursue your talents and not people who are telling you, listen, that's never going to amount to anything. Do do this regular thing instead. If you love a life path three, make sure that you stay in close contact with them. So if you really love a life path three, it's your boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife or best friend or whatever, call them, send them text messages, send them little gifts or whatever, but just stay in that close communication with the three that you love because they really need that in order to feel vibrant and to feel engaged in life and it will mean a lot to them. Thank you all so, so much for watching and many blessings to all of you Life Path number threes. Go out there and share your wonderful message and your talents and your creativity with the world. Go talk to people and make the world a more beautiful place and a more innovative and creative place in whichever way that you can can. So thank you again and namaste. Bye.